Hey, thank you for watching. My name is Thomas and you're watching Tom Stack Academy. In this video, you will learn how to loop through an Excel file with Robocorp and then perform a certain action for every row. And let me demonstrate what we're gonna to do today. And if you want to code with me, you have to follow those steps as well. So navigate to rpa-unlimited.com and then navigate to the YouTube example applications and course material. And then you see here, build your first bot with Robocorp, open course material, and then we're gonna download this Excel file. So I just click here, and then you can show this file in the folder. I'm gonna open this file. And you see in this file, I have three rows. Um, I have companies, so Tom's Tech Academy, First Consulting, and Jake's Cookie Company. And every company has a contact person, an address, a zip code, a city, uh, etc. And what we're going to do for these records, we're going to add them to this uh, CRM system. So you just fill in the company name here, the contact person, the address, and then you click on Add Transaction. And we're going to do that with Robocorp. And you see that I've already created a project here, so let me show you a trick. Click on tasks.robot and then click on Reveal in File Explorer. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to navigate to the Excel file that I just downloaded. So it's in Downloads. And if it's not in your Downloads folder yet, just navigate to rpa-unlimited.com slash YouTube, open course material, and then you can download it from here. Okay, so let's go to the Downloads folder. Now copy this file. And we're going to paste it into the robots directory. So let's go to VS Code, Reveal in File Explorer, and just paste it here. I see that my file is called input.xlsx and you also see me refer to input.xlsx. So if you want to change the name, that's possible, but you also have to do that in VS Code. So let's open VS Code. And in VS Code, you see that I have three sections for now. I have settings, I have tasks, and I have keywords. And if you've worked with Python or another programming language before, keywords are a bit like functions, so you declare them. And in the task section, that's where you list the keywords that you want to execute. So we're gonna start with creating some keywords to show Robocop which operations we want to perform. And then in, in the task section, that's where we're gonna define the keywords that we want to execute. And we will also define the order. Okay, so let's make a start. And I'm gonna start with the settings because we're gonna need a few libraries. So first of all, I'm gonna use a library and that's called rpa.browser.selenium. And you can also give this a library an argument. And something that I really like is setting auto close to false. And the reason why you do this is because if you don't do this, uh, the robot will run its process and then it will close the browser. Robocore bots are pretty fast, so then the result will be on the screen for a very short time. So just set auto close to false during the testing phase and it will make your life easier. And the second library we're going to use, because we are going to use uh, an Excel file, is library. And this one is called rpa.excel.files. And this one will make sure that we can communicate with uh, an Excel file. Okay, so that's the settings section. Uh, you can add more settings here, but those are the most basic ones. Then, as I said, let's go to the keywords section. And the first keyword I'm going to declare is open website. So this one, then use enter and tap. And then we're going to declare the actions behind this keyword. So now that's open, available browser, tap. And then I'm going to define the URL that I want to open. That's this one, rpa-unlimited.com slash YouTube slash Robocop tutorial. And I'm just going to paste that here. Okay, so that's a really short keyword. You can use shift tap to go back. And the second keyword I want to define is fill and submit form for every company. Like this, uh, use tab. And then we're gonna declare an argument. So use arguments here, use tab. And the argument that we're gonna declare, that's company. And company is going to contain all the information about one single company. So it's going to contain the name, it's going to contain the contact person, the address, the zip code, etc. And then in this keyword, we're going to perform the following actions only for one company. And the first thing we're going to do is we're going to input text. So type input 
text. And and now you have to provide the ID of the um, text box where you want to type. So if you're using Chrome, right click here, click on inspect. And then you see here that the ID for this text form is company dash name. So I'm going to put that here. And that's a locator. And by default, you use the ID. You can use other locators as well, or for example, CSS properties. But I'm going to talk about these in another video. And then, of course, you want to show Robocop what you want to type. And for that, I have to refer to my Excel file. So in this Excel file, input.xlsx, you see that the company name is called company name. So I'm just going to copy this one and go to Robocorp and then type company. I use then square brackets. So those are curly brackets. And from here, we're going to use the square ones. And then you type company name. And this one is referring to the header of the column in this Excel file. So to this one, and the next one will be contact person. So let me just copy this one already. Then we're going to use input text again. But now we're not going to refer to company dash name, but we're going to refer to company dash contact. Company dash contact. And the text that we want to type. That's of course company, referring to the input argument here. We're going to refer to the header of the Excel file, and that's contact person. Let's go to the next one, input text. And now we're going to type address, so the third one, inspect. I see that the ID is just address, right? So just type address here, then refer to the Excel file. And you see that here the address is also called address, but with a capital A. So refer to company, square brackets, address. Okay, let's go to the next one. The next one is the zip code. I see that the ID here is also the zip code. Input text, zip code, and then we're going to refer to company. I see here that this one is also zip code, city and country, right? So for now it's zip code. The next one is city, and I can tell you that the ID here is also city, right? And this one is then referring to company, city with a capital C. And the next one is country, so refer to company, square brackets, country. Um, and then we still have telephone, which has the ID telephone, and we have email, which has the ID email. And let me just check the names of the columns in Excel, and that's telephone and email with capital T and E. And that's it. And the last step, um, you can either click here on the button, but I'm going to just use the command submit form, which works pretty well here. And you don't have to define any parameter for this one. Okay, so we have now two keywords that we have self-declared and we have still one more to go because we also have to um, refer to the Excel file. We have to open the Excel file and fetch the data. And we also have to loop through the Excel file. And then for every time we loop, we're going to call uh, this keyword fill and submit form, form for every company. So let's press shift tab and let's create another keyword. I'm going to call this one fill the form using the data from the Excel file, something like this. Enter tab. And the first thing I'm going to do is open workbook tab and the pad is input dot xlsx enter and then in the variable companies companies tab i'm going to read worksheet 
a stable like this. And if you go back to the Excel file, you see that this file has a header, right? The name of the first company is not company name, right? And if you don't want the name of your first company to be company name, you have to add here, header is true with a capital T. And now it's a good practice to close as well the workbook. So this one. And then there is one more thing that we need to do and that is looping to the file with the for each. So type for tab. Here we're gonna type company. And this is how you refer to the row and then in list where list is companies. So this is the list of every company, of all the companies. And then company is referring to every single row of this list one by one. Uh, then you see here log element. I'm going to remove that. And here we're going to refer to this keyword, fill and submit for every company. So just paste that here, make sure that you have the tab. And you see that this key keyword also has an argument. You see that here. And that argument, I'm going to provide that with company. So we refer to fill and submit form for every company, this one. And the argument that we provide is company. And then from company, the keyword can extract all the information. And as I said in the beginning, you can see those keywords as functions, but we still have to refer to those functions. At this moment, they are, they are declared, but we're not using them yet. And the way we use these tasks, first I'm describing what I'm doing, and then I'm referring to the task. So for example, let's say open the website, enter tab, and then you refer to open website. And that's the keyword that we have just declared here, right? So the keyword is always here. And this is just a description for documentation purposes. And there is one other keyword that we need to declare. And I'm going to say read companies from Excel and add to the website. And then I'm going to refer to this keyword because in this keyword, I'm also referring to fill and submit form for every company, which is this one, right? So this is the only one that I don't need to refer. So just paste that one here. And also make sure that you use the tab here. Okay, let's close the browser. Uh, Robocop will open it automatically. And then let's press here on the play button. And I'm going to run this robot. So click here. Okay, and now you see why it's so important that you add this expression here, how to close is false because otherwise Robocop will add the records and it will then immediately close the browser and it makes it very hard to check whether your input is correct. So let's open the browser a bit more. And now you see here the ID and the ID has been generated automatically by this website. So this, this one we haven't inserted. You see we have provided the company name, the contact person, the address, the zip code, the city, the country, the telephone and the email and all look the same as in the Excel file. So the robot did a really good job here. Congratulations if you were able to build this bot with me. I hope this video was useful for you. If it was, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel because there is way and way more Robocorp content coming in the next weeks. Thank you for watching and I see you in the next video.